Hello everyone, I am Jay Hope Suess, the founder of Hope Boulevard and the author of Midlife Joyride, Love in a Single Lane. Um, I have had several people ask me if there was a audiobook version of Midlife Joyride and I have decided instead of that that I was going to make a YouTube channel where I read uh, sections and chapters of the book um, and put them in, in video form out on YouTube. So Midlife Joyride came about because I've had a blog for a few years and a lot of the content on the blog had to do with relationships and specifically relationships for those of us in midlife who are kind of starting over again uh, in the dating world. And I decided that I would uh, put all the information together in book form and voila, here we have Midlife Joyride. Now, if you'd like to get a copy of the book, um, you can, it is found on Amazon, and you can also purchase it through my website, which is www.hopeboulevard.com. Also on my website is a link to all of the blogs that I write, not just the ones on relationships, but I also do ones for motivation and encouragement and inspiration. And I also have links to my social media accounts, um, which I do try to post daily motivational and inspirational uh, information and quotes. So, uh, for this very first video, I'm going uh, to read the back of the book and the prologue, and then as we go, um, I'll just um, I'm going to try to keep the videos till about the 10 to 12 minute mark, so that they're not too long, and you can pop in and watch them when you have ch a chance to. I hope you do. I hope you subscribe to the channel here and get all the information that, that you can. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to start with reading the review on the back cover. It was by Joanne Masters, who is a licensed professional counselor, and her review reads, This book is the ultimate user's manual for midlife relationships. Witty and charming. There were several times during the book that I broke out into laughter. The hard work of making a relationship work in midlife for you has been done by the author herself. Read, soak in, and cherish the valuable advice that she has given you which I think was just a very sweet and lovely review, and I very much appreciated it. So I'm just going to read the basic summary of the book on the back. Being single in midlife is not usually where many Sims expected to wind up. In Midlife Joyride, J-Hope Suess takes Sims, single in midlife, on an incredible and often humorous journey from how they wound up here through either being widowed or divorced or even never married, to learning to love again. With a lighthearted yet meaningful collection of stories, advice, and encouragement from both personal and anecdotal experiences, she provides insightful navigational tools for every sim, including entering the dating cyber highway, creating a dating profile, and recognizing red flags. Dating etiquette as a simp. Who pays for a date nowadays and what not to wear? Developing and maintaining new relationships and when to know to walk away. Discovering and learning how to love yourself first. And last but not least, sexcapades of today's boomers. Midlife Joyride is a manual for sims as they discover their and own their own current situation and explore the possibility of new roads to travel and paths to pursue with a personal RPS relationship positioning system. Suez guides hearts towards personal happiness in a relationship, whether it is a long-term monogamous commitment, marriage, or just deciding to stay single. Buckle up and laugh your way through an adventure to being the best version of you. So we're going to just start right into the prologue. Now I started each section and chapter with a quote um, that I thought matched the content of the chapter itself. The quote I chose for the prologue is from Abraham Lincoln and it says, It is not the years in your life that count, but the life in your years. And I'm pretty sure you've probably all heard that before, probably several times in your life. But I think it's very befitting because we can live to be 80, 90 years old, but if we're, you know, grouchy and hard to get along with and we're never happy and we never find a way to 
uh, express joy, then we probably live we probably have a pretty miserable life. So it's important to make the very best of every day that we're given us and to find a way um, to bring joy and give joy and receive joy. Okay, so here we go. As a society, we have become obsessed with directions and never getting lost. Every smartphone we buy and almost every new car on the market has a built-in GPS. There are apps that talk to you, map your route, pick out your food stops, your rest stops, and your sightseeing stops. You can plug in any destination throughout most of the world and immediately know your arrival time by plane, train, or automobile if you left right now. We have an abundance of navigational tools at our disposal to get us from point A to point B. What many of us are sorely lacking in, however, is instructions on how to navigate the personal relationships in our life, especially the love relationships. I'm a single woman in my 50s. As it turns out, there is quite a host of both men and women in their midlife years who are also single, roughly 34 million, the highest numbers in the history of keeping numbers. I refer to us as Sims, single in midlife. And while I'm not ashamed of it by any means, this is not exactly the life that I had planned. I grew up when it was still the norm to get married young and stay married until you were old. The until death do you part old. I got the married part young right. But then things just went off track. In fact, I was divorced twice before I was 30. Which a lot of people don't know. Until now. So what happened? I could start a list and begin to blame any countless number of people for how my, my life turned out. Truth be told, it was mostly on me. Decisions, choices, fear, pride, stubbornness. I have a great life and I'm truly blessed. But I've also made many mistakes throughout the years and I experienced the consequences. Fortunately for me, I learned valuable lessons. Fortunately for you, I'm willing to share those lessons. Throughout the pages of this book, I want us to take a journey to explore the magical, mysterious, and even sometimes messed up world of relationships. I want to be your guide as you discover and own your current situation and then explore the possibilities. I want you to become the best version of you. It is my hope to become your personal RPS relationship positioning system. But before I go any further, I want to make one thing very clear. It is not my goal, nor is it my suggestion that to be happy, we have to be in a relationship. Far from it. I think finding love is a beautiful thing. And if it happens to you or me, I am all in favor of it. But please know the most important relationship that you're going to have in this life is the one with yourself. By the time the last page is read, I want you to walk away believing that you are capable of giving and receiving love, but also with the full knowledge that you are an amazing, strong, worthy, and complete person just the way you are, with a precious heart and a beautiful future. We only have this one life, and it goes by so quickly. We should all do our best to make it a wonderful joy ride. So with that in mind, let's get started. Okay, that is actually all for uh, the first video. Um, I am going to um, end here and then pick back up the next video with the section number one. Again, the book is Midlife Joyride, Love in a Single Lane. It can be purchased through Amazon or also through my website www.hopeboulevard.com. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you check back in and subscribe to the channel so you can get all the information available in the book. Thanks.